So a wide base, tapering up to the top. Um, and I found that like having an actual routine for how you're doing it looks really linear, um, which is great for the brain to hold on to, especially teaching people how to do it. But it will become chaotic really quick and tangle itself together. So don't worry about looking at first. It, it has a tendency to look a little uh, composed. But it, uh, it works better. If you make a mess, if it, if it turns out people are just sort of like randomly shoving branches in, it blows out as soon as the water gets high. Um, jute twine, so it biodegrades. You've used ferricord before, but then you have to collect it all. Uh, don't put your branches in the water. If you have someone staging things for you beforehand, they get wet, they get muddy, and it's a total pain to work with. Or whatever, you know, for, for what's that? If you're, if you're doing it all day long, it just doesn't get cold. Unless it's like the, the heat of summer and they're going to be sitting out for a month. Then it's a great idea. Yeah, drop the ends in like a, a flower bouquet so they'll stay wet and flexible. But they agreed with sediment right away and they, they even will become partly buried before you realize it and they're hard to pull back out. Huh. So as you're going, too, you kind of want to get one or two layers down, press it. Um, I do probably four layers, three, one down. wider, brushier branches? Kinda. I mean, I sweated a lot less than I used to. And you kinda discover that like, these work great too, especially on the base because it's making a really wide base right now. So to interlock those with the shorter, brushier ones, again, it just, it has a tendency to mimic that natural structure you're looking for more. Um, when you have splits, it's really handy to do that. It'll help tie it together. And then that, and then that brush, as you, you build up on top of it, it starts tying everything together even better. Feel like the head difference already in the water. Obviously, banks are going to be. If you're trying to protect it, in this case, since it's a spanner, you'll start building up more material to try to stabilize that bank. If you don't pack it down, it'll immediately go underneath it. There are all kinds of holes you can see that even if you do pack it down, it probably won't. Um, but it takes a little longer. <laughs> are you trying to end up with a low point on this, or are you trying to keep it similar elevation across the whole top of the board? Generally, there is a low point. We'll kind of leave almost like a, essentially a spillway for it. We'll right. come up a little higher on the banks to protect those, you know, especially on a right. spanner will taper up and you will have generally a lower point in the middle. Kind of foul right here. Like yeah. a weir, a little bit like a weir. Yeah. And it helps with fish passage too. And I try to kind of keep it flat too, so you're not focusing that all the way down, right? And creating like, creating like a lot of force right, right down the center. Yep. Spread the force of the water out. And... You look where you are, right? I mean, that's the whole thing is you're not, you're not trying to recreate anything. You're trying to be a good observer and copy what you observe. That works. Upstream side, you bother to do the downstream side. I will after in the beginning. I only do on the, on the upstream because it's being lifted by the force of the water. So I'll keep compacting that down. And then when I put a weave piece in here, then I'll compact the whole thing. But as soon as you can actually tilt it down, get that hydraulic pressure pushing it down into itself. Yeah, no, I'm still at that point. I'm going to go take a different path, tie itself back. Tie the last one's over. If they break, don't worry about it. <laughs>
to really start building the sides up, I'll try to keep the whole thing symmetrical to start with. Because if you start to mound it too early, then you'll start focusing the stream too much when you don't have enough material to actually do what it needs to do, and then it'll start tearing things up. Again. 